Hi friends, it's election day and I hope you vote. It's an important thing to do no matter who you vote for. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. You may notice that I'm reading part of what I have to say today and what's on my mind is not my retirement home in Mexico or my RV lifestyle. Today I want to talk about my country of birth. I was born on Staten Island right next to Liberty Island where stands the Statue of Liberty. My father served in the Coast Guard and he once walked the wall at Ellis Island not so much as a guard but as a patriot who welcomed immigrants to the United States of America. I've been to Ellis Island. There are no chain link cages. When I was in college, John Kennedy stood at a podium and asked, Ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. And he read those words, not because he couldn't make an extemporaneous speech to millions off the cuff, but because back then, presidents were careful with their words. Their public speeches were always read because a misstatement could have unintended consequences. Their words were policy, and they often carried the force of law. Oh, how times have changed. But I read this today because I want to say it exactly as I want to say it. America used to have a nickname. I think I first heard it when I was in history class in the fourth grade. America, the melting pot of the world. It echoed the words of the Statue of Liberty. I'll read them for you. The words of Mother Liberty, spoken at the gates to America. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free the wretched refuse of your teeming shore. Send these, the homeless, the tempest-tossed, to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door. The golden door to the United States of America, welcoming immigrants with open arms, welcoming humans who come from places where their choice might be to try or to watch their children die. America wore the title of the world's melting pot of cultures with pride. It is one of the secrets of her greatness. A badge of honor that shined a light into the dark corners of oppression, bigotry, bigotry and intolerance in the world. And unless you're a Native American Indian, Somewhere in every American's family tree is an immigrant who made America great in the first place. It's the secret of her greatness, that diversity. It's the very thing that makes America stand out as the greatest country on earth. America is losing that badge of honor. She no longer celebrates diversity. Small minds retreat into tribalism, and Lady Liberty has folded her welcoming arms and raises her eyebrows in scowling judgment of those who try to pass her tarnished golden gates. Do I hate America for her failures? No, never. I'm proud to be an American, and no matter how rich you are, or no matter how loud you are, or no matter how politically powerful you are, you cannot make America great again by hating other people. Not all of you will enjoy what's on my mind today. Some of you will lash out from the dark corners of your troubled mind and write ignorant comments for me to enjoy. But if you see this as a political speech rather than an American patriotic scream, you're on the wrong side of history. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.